All right, so we're gonna try another experiment here. I've got this pretty long branch right here, comes all the way out here and goes back into the base of the tree back here. You can see it's got quite a bit of damage here and all along we've got damage as well as where this isn't covering up the, the bark. You can see it's just dry, crusty. There's no way that there's any life uh, on the end of this branch, uh, nothing worth saving. You can even see how the bark here is shriveled up. So there's not a lot of hope that there's gonna be any life in this uh, branch. But just in case there is a little bit here at the base, what I'm gonna do is cut it back to a larger stub. And the reason I'm gonna do that is in case there is any amount of viable tissue underneath here, I could go ahead and graft any branches, really anything with some, some buds on it that will tell the tree, hey, there's some life there, go ahead and send out some nutrients and start healing that over. So basically when you graft into a branch, it's more likely to push that growth and uh, fill in that dead spot. Uh, we've got just over here on the tree, um, spot down here. This was a completely dead branch that I cut a while back. And you can see that we do have this bit of a ring starting at near the top, which is where we have uh, this living portion of the branch still. But here at the bottom, we're not really getting any good result uh, there's really no ring down here about halfway it stops so this is going to be kind of a long term it's even it's even wet right now even though this slants down and so rain isn't going to come on this and hold to it uh, so that's a big disadvantage to fully dead limbs if you notice a limb's dying i'd recommend cutting it a little bit early if it's uh, one that you can get to early uh, this one over here you can see was cut when it was fully dead and we have just the tiniest bit of a ring. And that is a benefit to cutting at the branch collar because then if any of that uh, is gonna be alive, it's gonna be right along that collar because that's more part of this other branch here. And so you can um, hope to have a little bit of growth that might heal this over, but you can see that this is already cracking. And when it's cracking like that, that's gonna work its way down further. Uh, you could paint this over uh, use some interior latex paint, uh, not exterior. I wouldn't recommend exterior, but if you do that, maybe it'll help hold the cracking back while this heals over. But I don't even know that this is going to heal over at this point uh, because of the, the slow growth that that is. But essentially, the, the tree wants to protect that wood, and so it's going to heal over this spot. But if it has reason to put growth here because of branches that you've grafted in, then you're going to benefit from uh, from that mechanism and then this should heal over so even if you just let those branches grow a little bit every year and you snip them every year it's going to heal over trimming those branches off uh, really quickly because they'll only be maybe a half an inch diameter uh, or so whenever something like this might heal over and then it will heal over those spots or you could even utilize that as a branch again if, if that works for you um, so we're going to go ahead and cut this one right here. We're going to see what we can find under here. And if there's anything viable, we'll go ahead and graft to that. And I'll show you what that looks like here. I want to get it fairly close because I can even tell that this is dead here. But I do want enough material there for me to be able to actually graft into. And I didn't make an undercut, which you would normally want to do, but because of how dead this is, uh, an undercut really isn't even necessary because you use the undercuts because the bark clings and holds. And I, I really anticipated that this was going to be the case. And as you can see, it's just it's fully, uh, fully dead there. Let's go ahead and take one more cut. So looking at this again close up uh, you can see this just peels right away and there is no green to that so I'll go ahead and try and cut it a bit closer try to get to that branch collar uh, you can see these other cuts were made here and there is some amount of healing so there might be some life left 
uh, down further down here. I can only get so close though because I've got this branch here that I decided to keep and graft to and the one over there and I don't want to break those. Uh, but probably the reason for this shooting out here is because the tree determined that this was a dead branch. So it had this extra energy that wasn't able to go into this branch anymore because there was uh, no living tissue to send it there. And so instead it pushed out this bud. You also find that in pruning when you cut a branch that you'll have shoots come out. Uh, there's a hormone that tells all of the buds on the bottom of it, hey, don't grow because the top of the tree is higher up and we're going to keep shooting up. And so then the lower buds don't push out unless you're to put notches in above the, each of those buds. And that tells it, hey, you're the top of the tree now. You go out there and do something. So that's kind of what happened here is that the all the living portions of the branch were done. And so the the tree was like, okay, well, the highest point I have in this area now is right over here. And so it shot out that, uh, that bud. So that actually probably looked a bit like this here when it first happened. So here we've got this one coming out and that's probably because some pieces of this were taken off. So the area of the trunk above there is gone. So now this wants to shoot out. So that can be an indication when you get these coming out that either things are dying or it's because you, you pruned it back a little bit more than maybe you needed to. Um, and that's why uh, a lot of people recommend only pruning off a, a third of the material of your tree at most every year when you're trying to reshape them because you're going to get a lot of extra growth that you didn't necessarily anticipate when you do that. So actually after cutting that one more time, I got down to some living tissue. This is where I would see some of that growth come out here. There could be some buds under this bark here that may end up shooting out in the next year or two. Uh, but since it already did this one, uh, perhaps not. I don't think that there's enough space here for me to do any sort of grafting though. So I'm just going to leave it like this, but hopefully this Cutting into this here will help this to uh, want to grow out. If I were to cut this off, then what I would do is cut uh, more along here, which would get that, that collar uh, a little bit better. But it's just too tight of a spot to try and get any closer. So I was about to call it a day on this tree after seeing that there was nothing really that I could graft into on that other cut. But I found another branch here. So I went ahead and cut off this piece here. This was right here. It had two little signs of life on it. Just this piece right here, this, this bud spot, and, and this one here. But overall, not anything to it compared to how much of a branch there is here. So I went ahead and cut that off. And I could see that all around here was all green. So this was a spot where I could go ahead and try this experiment. So I went ahead and grabbed another gold rush and came over here and I cut into the side. I figure this side here growing like this is going to help heal this over pretty quickly. So by putting this into this side, that should help the whole, the whole branch heal over. So we're going to leave it like that for this purpose. I may or may not let this keep growing. If I can get it to grow up, then that will be something I'll want to keep. Uh, if not, maybe I'll cut it off at, at the end of this to show how the whole thing heals over. But I've got it wrapped quite a quite a bit with this parafilm here. So the entire cut here, now this may disintegrate uh, over time uh, and rather quickly. But at least for the time being, while this is first starting to heal over, this should be sealed in pretty well. Hopefully long enough for this to take. It's in there pretty good. Not too worried about it as long as I made a good enough cut on it. I think we'll see that it uh, works out. Uh, but yeah, we'll check back on this. We'll see how that heals over and uh, kind of look more into that as being a good way of getting some of these cuts that are a little bit larger to heal over, uh, even if you're not planning on keeping new branches in that location. So we'll check back with that one here in the spring and, and see where we're at.